right, here we go. We got Chicago's finest, young Polo G in the house. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? Everything good, man. Listen, uh, I was going through the catalog. You got some really, really dope shit. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like, I've been listening to Finer Things, like, nonstop ever since I heard it. Yeah, everybody messing with that song, KB, right now. That's a hit. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Well, let, me, let me just say it. That's a hit. And, you know, it's at, like, 8 million views right now. It's, like, by far your biggest song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I put, like, a lot of thought into that track. You could tell. You could tell, man. And, um, like, the, the, way, the way you're kind of singing it, and with, with what you're saying in it is just uh just really dope, man. Just congrats, congrats. Not everyone could pull off something like that. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So this is your first time at Vlad TV. So I like to get people's whole story. Uh you grew up in Chicago. Yeah, on the north side of Chicago. North side. Okay. And you got uh I guess two younger siblings? Yeah, I got two younger siblings, one older sibling. My um, okay. second oldest sibling is uh, my little brother, he's 13, and then the youngest one is uh, my little sister, she's five. Okay, and those were the kids in the, uh, in, the fi- in, the, uh, in the Finer Things video? Yeah. Yeah, that's dope, man. I love how you bring your whole family into yeah. it. Okay, so there's four of you total? Yeah, there's four of us. Okay, so... Were both your parents around or, or just a single mother? Both of my parents. Okay. Pop, Sam, my mom. Okay, and that's something you don't see all the time. It seems like a lot of artists that they interview are usually raised by their mom or their grandmother, but your mom and dad were around. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, you grew up in, a, in an interesting area. Uh, I guess the Red Buildings? I grew up. I grew up in that area, yeah, but like for the most part, like I grew up in Marshfield Gardens, but we all from that same area, basically. Okay, and is that area called Cabrini Green? Yeah, Cabrini Green. Oh, okay, because I remember, you know, I'm not from Chicago, so you have to kind of educate me a little bit. Like at one point, I guess there were a bunch of project buildings in Chicago that got torn down. Yeah, that's Cabrini Green. That's Cabrini Green. Uh-huh. Okay, that's what I thought. So, so those projects are gone. Yeah, they gone. It's just um, in that same area. It's just um, the row houses. That's it. Okay, so what are the red houses? The red buildings. I mean, it was like it was the it was um it was the project buildings in Cabrini Green. You feel me? Everybody had their own little building. Like every gang had their own little building. They was running. Right, you said the folks had their own building, the Cokes had their own building, uh-huh. everything else like that. Okay, so what was it like growing up in that kind of environment? I mean, as a kid, you ain't really paying too much attention to it. So you just having fun, really, for the most part. Like, you ignoring all of everything that's going on around you. Like, you ain't thinking too much of it. It's like when you get older, it starts to sink in. Like, dang, it's crazy. Right. I mean, because you talked about in some of your, uh, I think in the Genius interview, um, that you would just be on the block sometimes, like, the whole night. Yeah. Like, as a kid, too, really. Like, just out and about, you feel me? But being in the hood, though, it's like you got that type of family feel where you feel like you're safe to, enough to do that. Yeah. I mean, it kind of goes both ways. Mm-hmm. You know, you got, you got the safety, then you got the danger all, all kind of mixed in together. So what would happen when you would go home the next day? What would your parents say? There's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> they ain't really think too much of it because we in the hood. Hey, everybody know where I'm at. Okay. So your parents wouldn't flip out when you'd come home at, like, the next morning, being out all night? No, I'm not. It was like when I got older, you feel me, and they ain't want me doing that, you feel me. It's like, all right, you got to chill out. Ooh. 